Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to season number five here in the UCF Knights Dynasty. This season marks the first season without the original team, so we will have a fresh new beginning to this series as we now have a new star in freshman phenom PJ Sutton. He averaged 34 points per game in high school, coming in as a four-star recruit, six foot seven. We haven't had a scorer like him. He comes in with 95 field goal. Our leaders on this team are just incredible and Reese Mahanic, the two seniors in the starting lineup. Austin Ball gets the start at center, the seven feet four sophomore who we've been grooming for this role. And then we also have Sam Hayes and Bob Sharp, both juniors leading the backcourt. And then looking at Kolchak coming off of the bench, Straylock, Porter, the uh, shooting guard, Hill, the freshman, Hector, the walk-on uh, sophomore as well. And we have a lot of new talent to this uh, rotation now, which we'll see how it fits in. Our opening game will come against Oklahoma. They are led by Corey Frost, a projected first round pick, who is their only returning double digit scorer this year. So here we go. We have new expectations coming into this season. We did not do as well as what we thought we would do last year, where we failed to make the NCAA tournament, got bounced in the first round of the conference tournament in the Big 12. And now we go up against Oklahoma to start this season. Here we go, Austin Ball tipping off for the first time. Let's get this season underway as here is Sam Hayes working the ball to the corner. Here is the freshman PJ Sutton with the ball wearing number 35. Shades of Kevin Durant a little bit. Here is Credible driving and a layup. A tough one at that and the senior gets us going for the first bucket of the season. Here on defense, Sam Hayes gets to start at point guard, a pass inside and a jump shot over Reese Mahanic, the senior. And Oklahoma ties it up at two apiece. Inbound play, here is Sam Hayes getting to the bucket. He gets blocked and it gets saved by Sutton, but it looks like he had a foot on the line, so they will mark him out of bounds, Oklahoma basketball. Here we go the other way. This length is showing on defense. We get a steal. Coast to coast is Sutton. He throws one up. He misses and gets his own board but gets blocked again. So his first two shots are missed here. His here's a corner three by Oklahoma taken. That's missed. An offensive board put up. That one's missed. And Austin Ball is on the boards. And here we go the other way. Here we are working it inside to Ball. The seven feet four sophomore throws one up. And that one is also blocked. We've had three block shots already on offense. Trying to look for a second bucket of the game. Here's a pass to the corner. Credible. Hand in his face. He misses. But Reese Mahanic, the captain, is there for the rebound. He throws it down. 4-2 to two game. A lot of excitement so far, despite only four points by each team. 4-4 four, four game now. Here is Sam Hayes working it to Mahanic in the post. He is awesome there. He passed it back out, though, to Hayes. An improved jump shot coming into this season. That's one part he really needed to improve coming into this season. Because now we have a three-point lead. Fade away. That's good. Oklahoma answers right back. Frost hits that one for his first bucket of the game. 7-6 game here is Sutton from the outside. His first three-pointer is knocked down. And the first buckets of his career will be a three there. Wide open. Now a 10-6 game. And Oklahoma draws the foul on Credible. They go to the free throw line and hit both free throws. Two-point lead now in transition. There's a nice jump shot just from outside the paint. And Reese Mahanic has four points early on. Trying to get our big men involved. Another pass inside. This time it's Austin Ball in the post. An early six-point lead. Sutton with the shot from the outside. That one's missed. But Austin Ball on the boards. He just sticks the ball up there and grabs the ball. It's now an eight-point game. Having that length inside, and he is a very much improved defensive rebounder also coming into this year as well as offensive. 16-8 now. Here is in transition. Sam Hayes working it out to the outside. Here is Sutton trying to look for an open lane. He gets stuck, but he gets open on the outside for three, and he knocks it down. Two of five from the field, but two three-pointers for Sutton. And now here we are with a double-digit lead up by 11. Missed shot by Oklahoma. Here we go the other way. Sutton trying to get to the basket. Good pass inside. It's Ball with the hook shot. He's got six. Three of four 
from the field. 21 to eight. What a block by Sam Hayes. They get it back though and knock down the offensive rebound, the second chance opportunity. And now here we are on defense again. Reese Mahanick with the block. His man is on the ground. Sam Hayes trying to go coast to coast to the outside. Credible tries to hit a transition three. He cannot make that one. Still an 11 point game. Credible from the outside again. Hand in his face. He can't knock that one down. Credible missing his first couple of threes to start this game. Now 21 to 10 still. Here's Sutton working inside to Mahanick. It's a 13 point game. Mahanick and Ball are going to be so good on the interior of this offense. And now here is Sutton trying to get to the basket. Oh, good crossover move. And draws the contact and the foul. Sutton will go to the free throw line for the first time in his career. And he will knock down the first. He is two of six from the field to start this game. He goes to the second free throw, and that one will be knocked down. Also a 13-point game. 25 seconds left in this first half. Offensive board by Oklahoma dunked home. And now with 15 seconds, we will hold for the last shot with an 11-point lead here, 25-14. to 14. Sutton might get the last shot here. Eight seconds to go. Good defense by Frost right away. They try to send the double team, it looked like, with three seconds. Sutton gets to the paint. He throws one up, and that one possibly should have been a foul. Contact within the restricted area, but no call as we go into halftime with an 11-point lead. Good start to this season in the first half. We are out rebounding them 11-7, shooting 40% from the field, but good defense. They're only shooting 32%. Here we go to start the second half. Oklahoma starts out with possession. That is the first missed shot of the second half. Here is Sutton going the other way. Two on two. Good pass inside by Sutton to Credible. Starting out the second half like the first. Credible with the first bucket. 27-14. Good pass and good look. Oklahoma answers right back with the dunk. As here we work it up the court right away. Credible with an open three. Good find by Austin Ball. That's knocked down. Getting Credible going from the outside is going to be crucial this year. Credible comes into the season with a 91 three-point rating, which is the highest we've ever seen on this team in this series. As Austin Ball goes to the free throw line, seven feet four, we haven't seen that type of size in this series also. He knocks down one of two. 15-point game. Those passes aren't going to work versus us. We have too much length. There is a defensive board all the way up the court. Sam Hayes, a little bit of cherry picking, but it's all right. A 17-point lead, our biggest of the game. Austin Ball in the post, working it back out. Credible with the three. That's missed, but an offensive board by Ball. That length right there is why this team is different. Austin Ball, no more Bongani Mwangi taking away his minutes. It's now his show on the inside. Oklahoma answering right back, but they're still down by double digits. Now a 13-point game. Here they are once again in the post, and that's knocked down. 11-point game, but they have not gotten past that 11-point deficit. Every time we come back and hit another shot here from the outside, that's Sutton for his third three of the game, a 14-point game. Here on the inside, Austin Ball playing good defense. What was that point guard thinking? Trying to get that shot over a seven foot four center. Here's the drive and Sutton, and he gets his first and one of his career. 40 to 24, Sutton just showing off the array of moves today. He's got 13, he's four of nine from the field. Make it 14, and the freshman is showing why he was highly touted out of high school. Now up by 14 now, 41-27. Here's a good swing pass over to the corner. Sutton again, he knocks it down. Sam Hayes with the good find. We are just going to be a very well-rounded team. We can kill you from the outside and the inside now. Here is Credible in transition to the corner again. Sutton, another one. He knocks it down. Sutton just igniting this team in his first game. And now 47-30. Sam Hayes looking for the pick to the corner. Credible from mid-range. That's knocked down 49 to 30. Back up to a 19-point lead. Here's a missed shot by Oklahoma. They do get the offensive board, but it is way too late in this game. Down by 15. Mahanic in the post. Little guy on him. You know he's going to throw this one up. Baby hook. That's good. 51 to 34 at that point. 
Oklahoma just does not have enough offense to keep up with P.J. Sutton, Credible, Ball, Mechanic, all these guys. They pretty much played the entire game. Our bench pretty, pretty much had no impact. These guys came with energy. They were excited for the season opener, and we get it done. This team just looks different in just this one game. You can already see the potential. Sutton can score the basketball. Even with a kind of a lower three-point rating, it's not too low. It's at about 78. That 95 field goal allows him to knock down threes at maybe a higher clip than he possibly would with a lower field goal rating. But how about this? No points off the bench for this UCF team in, the, in their debut here. Sutton went... 5 of 9 from 3, 6 of 14 from the field. And how about the efficiency of Ball and Mechanic? They made 12 field goals combined, and they only missed three. I mean, that is efficiency if there ever was. And we end up getting the win there in the opener. Frost was pretty much ineffective. He finished with four points. The following week, we actually have six games in six days. So we start out versus Louis, uh, versus Liberty. We end up winning that one by 11. And look at P.J. Sutton, 39 points in his next game. This freshman is going to be amazing. We end up beating St. John's the next day by three, 74 to 71. That was a close game. Look how close it was, 38 rebounds to their 37. Couldn't get any closer than that. We go against Brown and we get our first blowout. I guess our second maybe of the year. We win by 30. And in this game, uh, Sutton didn't have that many points, but you know we had to play our bench more in this game since we were blowing them out. Then we go up against Louisville, who we thought was gonna be the toughest game in this first part of the schedule. We win by six on the road. They out-rebound us 40 to 33. We still overcome that and win on the road. But then we go up against Davidson, a team that is very, very underrated every single year. And you can just see they end up beating us here by 11, handing us our first loss. They out rebound, rebound us 42 to 29. Their two big men combined for 53 points and 26 rebounds. They were just killing us on the inside. And we get our first loss. But we bounce back nicely versus the Dayton Flyers where PJ Sutton has his second 35 plus point game this season and he starts out amazing averaging 24.6 points per game in the first seven games of the year 3.7 rebounds 1.9 assists this is going to be very very exciting just incredible if that three-point shot falls consistently it's going to be tough to stop this backcourt along with Sutton and Sam Hayes. Sam Hayes is now starting to knock down threes. Reese Mahanic almost averaging a double-double the first seven games, 14 and 9.9. .9. Might as well just call it 14 and 10. And then the big man, Austin Ball, averaging 9 and 9. And then Sam Hayes averaging 6.7 points but 10 assists. Stay at that 10 assist mark, Sam Hayes. It's going to be fun setting up a lot of these guys, even them coming off of the bench. You know, Bob Sharp is going to play a elevated role this year because we do need another guard coming off the bench. But our bench doesn't need to be that deep this year because of how good our starters are. So next episode, we will start our first, uh, conf or not conference tournament, but the Anaheim Classic Tournament, which is also the Wooden Legacy Tournament here. And we have the number eight seed. I think the seeds are random. We will go up against Alabama A&M the first round. It looks like Dayton or Oklahoma is also still in this tournament. So we will see how this first tournament goes next episode. I can't wait because this is going to be exciting. I love this team so far. Let me know what you guys think of this new look team in Sutton. How impressive is this freshman? It's going to be fun having a star once again. Antonio Johnson was a lot of fun to watch the first couple of years of this series. He kind of left, and we kind of lost that luster, but I'm, I'm ready for Sutton's show. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm about my pledge. I'm decked up on blue bills, and I won't stop until the cash pit. There's like fall leaves in the bag fill. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to save my peace. I'm so after school special. She brainy but them jeans looking like